All right, so here we are. We're uh, starting a new video series on how to build Marshmallow. I'm using a clean virtual machine here. As you can see, we'll run this uh, DF space dash H for human readable disk free. And you see we only have 2% of the hard drive being used because this does not have that Android lollipop or the SlimROMs lollipop that we built previously. So you can see a list of the directories and there's nothing, nothing in it. Everything we talk about, you can head over to the alaskalinuxuser.com or the alaskalinuxuser.wordpress.com and read everything that I'm saying here in these videos, copy and paste, really easy to do. But let's look on Google. If we, we're gonna build PacRom, so let's uh, go to PacRom GitHub and that's gonna bring up the PacRom GitHub. And if we type manifest in the search bar, we're gonna find the PacRom main manifest. Now in Lollipop, we talked a lot about this, so I'm not gonna go over that again but that, that manifest file is where we get the information for what to download. And of course, we're gonna be on branch pack-6.0 for Marshmallow. And if you scroll down here, you see they have links, which we'll click on for the Linux build guide. So here we go, prepare for build on Linux. Now, the big thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is follow all these instructions when you're building. And every custom ROM may or may not have its own set of instructions because there are some things that may be different depending on what they're, what they're building for. Um, it recommends to build on Ubuntu 14.04 or higher and we're using 14.04. And uh, it has some uh, instructions here for removing unsupported Java versions. If you're on 14.04 and especially if you're using a clean build, you don't have Java installed at all. And we're gonna apt get install openjdk-7-jdk. Dash dash super secret squirrel password here. And you see it's gonna install a lot of stuff. Go ahead and say yes. So we're not gonna take time to go through all of these instructions here. It's very straightforward, but do note that the install tools needed to build step three is going to list a lot of um, tools that if you compare with the list of the Android open source project are not gonna match. And that's okay, custom ROMs may need some custom tools. So be sure to download the ones that it's asking for. Uh, also look at the other instructions we see, we have to create some symbolic links, we have to download and configure repo sync just like we did in Android Lollipop. So be sure to follow through those instructions. We're not gonna go over all of that because I don't wanna belabor uh, over the things we've already talked about. If you need more information on that, please go back and take a look at those Android Lollipop videos. But what we are gonna do is after we install this OpenJDK 7, I'm going to install the tools needed to build because we're gonna see that one of them is going to fail. And I wanna look at that because that's important. When you are loading new packages, you have to contend with what's called dependencies. So a package is a program and it says for this program to install, I need a certain other program to already exist or a certain other library to already be there and in place. And one of those is actually gonna fail in the list that we have here. So it's gonna take us just a second to get here. We've got a lot of preparing, unpacking and selecting to be done here by um, app to get with the OpenJDK. But this should be done in just a moment. Hopefully, um, after having watched the Android Lollipop video series, this part doesn't scare you at all and should be really familiar to you in how even though some of the tools may be a little different for which ones you're gonna choose, how you choose them, how you use them is all gonna be exactly the same. Uh, while we're waiting for this to install, oh, well, there it is, it's done. Okay, we'll talk about a few other things in a moment. So if we install all these tools that are listed in step three for install these tools needed to build, uh, we can just uh, drag select all of them. Oh, don't need the dollar sign. There we go. 
And if we go back to our terminal and center click with our three button mouse, we're going to paste all that in. We hit enter and we see a problem. Lib GL1 method GLX I386 is missing a dependency. Now, I wanted to leave this in because I want to show you that in this case, it's okay to get rid of that I386 version. So we're on a 64-bit uh, machine, and these I386 version packages are actually just 32-bit packages. So we have libgl1 mesa-glx. That's not the 32-bit version that's going to be installed. So we don't need this 32-bit version. So it's OK to take that out and go ahead and hit enter on that new list that we've created and say yes. So all of this is going to go ahead and install. And I just want to take a moment to talk about what are we going to look at when we go through um, making Marshmallow. Of course, we're building a new custom ROM. Last time we built AOS, P, and Slim ROMs. Now we're going to be building Pack ROM. Uh, we're also going to be looking at how to build from something that's on the list, like we did last time. However, this time we're going to be using a new build script, which is different than the lunch, breakfast, brunch commands that we used before, which is really cool. And some custom ROMs are going to have that. Uh, another thing that we're going to be doing is going to be looking at how to add a phone to the list that wasn't there previously, which obviously you're in the custom ROM building uh, you know, mode here. That's why you're watching these videos. You want to learn how to do this to add your own phone that you've been working on to the list. So we're going to look at how we add a phone to the list that wasn't previously on the list, whether it's been built somewhere else or whether you're building it yourself. A couple other things that we're going to look at is um, you know, adding pre-built apps to our build and adding custom apps to our build, as well as how to change the default background and edit colors and words.